Logan Mwangi was a happy and loving boy, but small for his age and vulnerable. Yes. Weighing only three stone, he was helpless as his stepdad John Cole and 13-year-old stepbrother Craig Mulligan beat him mercilessly with his own mother's encouragement. The three of them plotted to deceive police after dumping Logan's body in the nearby river Ogmore. They pretended to be a distraught family, but South Wales police thought otherwise. All right, John, I'm arresting you on suspicion of the murder of Logan. What? We're going to arrest you as well. All right, hold on. Calm down. Why am I getting arrested? Tell me now what happened to my son. Have you ever tried to pray in the back? In custody, and Harrod Williamson continued with the act. And then I woke up and Logan wasn't there. Neither Williamson or Cole could explain how Logan was found with injuries likened to those that would be caused by a high-speed car crash. He had 56 external injuries, as well as a fractured shoulder and significant trauma to the brain. Confronted with the mounting evidence against them, they turned on each other. He was on the floor and she rather than grabbing his body, she's picked him up by his T-shirt, it's ripped. None of it is true. Why would John lie? Because John's a liar. Because he doesn't want to get done for murder. <laughs> I wish I never let this man into my, my son's life. <laughs> for investigators, a picture began to emerge of Cole as a racist bully. He was a former member of the far-right National Front and would refer to Logan by a racist name. The judge said he dehumanised his stepson and regularly made him stand outside in the cold. Thirteen-year-old Craig Mulligan had only been allowed to move into the house by a family court judge five days earlier, despite the fact he'd already threatened to kill Logan, who'd only been taken off the child's protection register the previous month. At the station, he was equally a part of the lies and deception. She's blaming me and my dad for everything when we haven't done anything, neither has my dad. Now, I'm just sick of this. She's just saying whatever she wants to get out of the cells. Logan's biological father, Ben Mwangi, was in court today to see the three murderers handed life sentences. His ex-partner will serve a minimum of 28 years, Cole a minimum of 29, while Craig Mulligan, Cole's stepson who had come to live in the house, will serve at least 15 years. Ben was stopped from seeing his son by Williamson and Cole and is now fighting to change the law. He told ITV that social services should be duty bound to tell biological parents when their children are believed to be at risk. If I can stop this from happening to anybody else, then that would be the most positive thing. My lasting memory of him was just that happy little boy and they called me daddy. Some of the tributes to Logan's brief life may be fading, but his killers sentenced today have a lifetime to reflect on their actions and the happy, innocent life they so needlessly ended.